Bonjour, it's day two in Paris um, and I'm looking real greasy this morning um, but we are up early, it's not that early. I bothered me to assume that I'd be able to have time to put on makeup, I brought makeup with me and I was like I'll put on makeup every morning so I look really nice for all our lovely holiday photos yada yada and also just because I like putting it on. I've not had time at all. So we're off to the Louvre and then the Pompidou Centre, um, which is very exciting. So we've got those two booked and then Tom found a um, museum, which is like a free entry art museum, which we found on TikTok. We've actually found quite a few of our suggestions on TikTok, um, but so far so good. I mean, that street that we found yesterday with the Eiffel Tower at the end of it was so nice um, and like a way better view of the Eiffel Tower than like actually being next to the Eiffel Tower and we are going to Gallery Lafayette and this posh Starbucks which we also found on um, TikTok and the rooftop of Gallery Lafayette which we also found on TikTok so cool is influenced um, but this is what I'm wearing today I don't know if I like it. I feel like Arthur from um, CBBC. Um, but that is all. Um, we're now off to go get breakfast before we get the tube down. And fingers crossed there are no tube strikes today. I don't think there should be. Um, but I will see you when we get to the museum. Jared Leto. Daddy's and cream. Daddy's <laughs> and cream. Hello, so we've just walked around the Louvre and now we're in the Pompidou. Um, this has got a massive staircase on the outside and uh, Emily's decided to take a piss. I've just been in there for about half an hour. I think she's really struggling actually. So um, I'll come back to you when she's done. I've never been in here before. Ooh. That's the queue we were in, and we've already joined about kind of like where that guy with the white jumper is. And now it's like so long. And then the queue for all the people. <laughs> oh my. <laughs>
Shodan. You must be a really fun guy at parties. <laughs> oh, go Shodan. Are you have a face Hello, we are in um, Gallery Lafayette. I did some damage and I, I couldn't think of what to buy. I wanted to buy myself something to like remember the trip, so I bought a beret. Um, which I thought was probably the most French thing that you could probably buy to remember a trip. So um, I got that. Um, and we saw the Eiffel Tower sparkling from the roof because basically, again, we saw a TikTok that said you should go to the roof. Um, and we just happened to catch it at a like perfect moment. So I am roasting though. Um, it does, it looks really fun. Um, but we're then gonna go to the really posh Starbucks after this and then make our way home. I'm dragging Tom around all the shops. Um, he's complaining that there's no men's section. Just <laughs> complaining. He doesn't like it when I shop. This is the beret. I like it a lot. It also hides my greasy hair. back I was in bed um, we went to the Starbucks we didn't buy anything um, we just went in to have a look because the line firstly was so long and also we just wanted to come home and sit down <laughs> we left we left at 10 and it's now half seven and we've basically been on our feet the whole day like even lunch we didn't really stop for long I think lunch we stopped for about 20 minutes in the Louvre um, my opinion was that the Pompidou was way better than the Louvre. I've been to the Louvre before, I've not been to the Pompidou Centre, and the Pompidou Centre was superb. I just thought it was a bit more interactive and more fun, and like you have silly little paintings that are just like one colour, and you're like, why is this in here? And then you read up on it and you're like, well, I kind of understand it why no it's in here. It had no reason to be in there, it was literally just a white canvas stuck on the wall. It had no brush strokes. Because it hadn't been painted on it at all. It was shiny, explain that. <laughs> it's a shiny I, Yeah, I liked it. I also liked the fact that you had a really good view of everything. We got to go in the bronze tube station, which we saw this morning. And then we got to go in it on the way back. We're going to make dinner. Um, last night we just had a microwave dinner, but tonight... It was, it was very French. Uh, yeah, it was it was very cultural. What did you have? A very cultural. It was sausage and mash. But <laughs> I'll tell you what, the sausage is really good. It was really good sausage. A very French dish. <laughs> Definitely not English pop food. <laughs> and then I had a fish pie, which. It's definitely English pub food. It's probably English pub food as well. Um, home comforts. We were saying actually, we've almost been doing the opposite thing of like normal tourists on holiday. Like when you come across another Brit. I feel like most people are like, oh, I left the country so that I could experience the culture and all I've done is be surrounded by English people. And then we see them in the street and we're like, oh my gosh, a taste from my home. Because everything, like, I mean, I I've... so excited to hear an English accent. Yeah. And like, Tom's not been away in how many years? Like 13. 13. I've not been away in three. And I've only been away once without 
parents. So it is a little bit overwhelming. So anytime I hear someone British, I'm like, oh my god, someone who might be able to help. Um, but we've been we've been fine so far. I, we've not needed any any assistance. So we've actually been helping people. Ladies came up to us and asked where the Gallery Lafayette was, and I was like, it's that way. I've just been there with my. Uh, I'm just thinking the reason it, we were like, why did they ask us? It's it's definitely the berry. Like, no, it's because I had the bag. Is it? <laughs> Uh, the bag says Gallery I Lafayette. I thought it was the berries, so you just familiar. <laughs> They're like, oh my god, that clearly looks like a brand spanking new berry. Here's mine and Tom's very romantic dinner for this evening. Uh, the supermarket was closed because it's Remembrance Day. So um, we didn't realise that all the shops, shots, shops closed early, so we're having Domino's. Which, to be honest, I wouldn't. I, I can't complain about because I really like much like Domino's. Although me and Tom have kept up on our pizza and we forgot to ask for ketchup, so um, it's not quite the same. But I'm sure it'll be very enjoyable. We got half and half pepperoni and margarita. I'm very excited. Mm -hmm.